here in Los Alamos. I'm Julie Williams-Hill, Public Information Officer for Los Alamos County, and I'm here to recap the February 6th Los Alamos County Council meeting. Los Alamos County Councilors began by recognizing the County's Finance Division for receiving the Triple Crown Honor from the Government Finance Officers Association. The County Finance Division received awards for their fiscal year 2023 budget, fiscal year 2022 annual comprehensive financial report, and the fiscal year 2022 popular annual financial report. Last August, the Government Finance Officers Association announced that Los Alamos County received the Certificate of Achievement for Excellence in Financial Reporting. This is the highest form of recognition in governmental accounting and financial reporting. This marks the 32nd year that Los Alamos County has received this award. Additionally, last month, the annual New Mexico County's Legislative Conference um, at the, excuse me, at the annual New Mexico County's Legislative Conference, the county was presented with the Audit Accountability Award from the New Mexico Office of the State Auditor and the New Mexico Counties Association. This is the seventh year that Los Alamos County has received this award for audit excellence in zero audit findings. Needless to say, we're all very proud of our Finance Division employees. Next, an ordinance was introduced to authorize the sale of county-owned property at 110 Entrada Drive for an amount of $1.6 million to 110 Entrada LLC. The plan is to develop the property to include a 50,000 square foot flex lab office building, two 5,000 square foot greenhouse buildings, and parking. A public hearing is scheduled for March 5th. This item was followed by a public hearing on the minimum wage. The council voted four to, four to three against raising the minimum wage in Los Alamos County. Councilors were considering raising the minimum wage over a three year period to $15 an hour for employees, $13.50 an hour for student employees, and to $3.75 an hour for tipped employees. Public Works Director Juan Real and Sustainability Manager Angelica Gurule next gave a status update on the food waste composting facility. After encountering several challenges with the initially proposed project, they recommended changing the site location from Bio Canyon to the Eco Station. This is an area that the county leases from the Department of Energy. Furthermore, they recommend they recommended modifying the composting operation from windrows to aerated static piles. According to Juan, this will reduce the footprint needed for the operation. Councilors voted unanimous, unanimously in favor of these recommendations and directed Juan and Angelica to meet with DOE to discuss modifying the lease. Intergovernmental Affairs Manager Danielle Duran reported that, uh, gave an update on the 2024 New Mexico legislative session. She reported that we are past the halfway mark of, the, um, of this session, which ends on February 15th. As of February 6th, Danielle reported 600 bills had been introduced to both houses. Three bills have passed in the House, no bills have passed by the Senate. Danielle is tracking 85 bills that fall under the county's state priorities. She says that these bills have seen good movement, movement, but we should know more next week. She also indicated that February 14th is Los Alamos Day at the Roundhouse, and of course, everyone is welcome to join in the festivities. To watch the full council meeting, visit lacnm.com forward slash council. This will take you to the county's Legistar website page. Midway through the page, you can filter meetings and select 2024 and also select all county council meetings and navigate to the February 6th meeting. The next council meeting is a work session on February 20th. Thank you and have a wonderful rest of your week.